Hey Familia Igni here and welcome back to Shadowverse. Today we're going to be playing an Alana Aegis deck by Mill. It's one of the decks he brought to Rage, which is a Japanese tournament. And it does have some tournament specific text in here, like Execution, which because uh, Polyphonic Roar is popular in the tournament. So probably I wouldn't run this card if you're taking it to ladder. But basically the game plan is that you play Alana, you heal up, you get a big ward, and then you end with Aegis as a finisher potentially if you haven't killed your opponent by then. So it's a little bit of control, it's a little bit of building up a huge board. And it's a bit stalled because you heal yourself. You know, it's Alana. Alana hasn't been meta in a really long time, which is why I was drawn to the deck. I'm like, you know what? It's been so long since I played Alana, really, in a, in a deck. So I wanted to give it a go. All right, Shadowcraft. Let's keep the Alana in hand, actually. I don't know how valuable keeping Rabbit Healer is, though. Hmm. A little bit of a tough call. Especially if the, if the Shadow goes too aggressive, then the Alana is going to be a dead card. No sacred plea turn one really hurts. If he plays something, I'm probably just gonna scripture it. No, okay. I guess we skip the turn. Of course he has something on three. Best thing to do now is just play Alana and then I can scripture this and then uh, play Rabbit Healer as well. And also be able to evolve the Rabbit Healer to take care of whatever else. You yeah, that's fine, because I can just script this. Look at you. You're hurt. Get a big dude. What would you do without give me a break? I don't even know if that was necessary. But if he has to play Cerberus Evolve, then the Cerberus would die in this case, so that's good. Concede. <laughs> oh, this is a good hand. And you know what? I should keep. I should put the the default simple background on more often. This music is pretty dank. It's really dramatic compared to the other stuff. They should just put this in the regular rotation. It's not bad. There's not, there's no, there's not as many clickables. I'll give you that. Ugh. Double skull beast. Oh my god. <laughs> Absolutely nothing at all. <laughs> I need to draw something better than this, man. What are you hiding inside? <laughs> really, really need a cudgel right now. Yeah, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. Lend me your power, I see, always. Good news is we also got the judge next turn. Judge can just deal with these last words, no problem. The other bad we have bad news though. If you just play Serb this turn and then oh no. That could be that could be an issue. <laughs> Serb? Serb? No, is he going face with this? Dance, dear bones of white. Oh, jeez, man. Let's get into trouble. It's really weird. For you. What in the? I am the mad cyclone. Sure. I guess it does put me really low, to be fair. But we have lots of heals, so hopefully we can recover before he blows us out. He has 4 damage on the board right now. Hoping that he doesn't have more from hand.
And our amulets are gonna pop next turn too, so if we can just turn this around. We have tons of heal in hand, and we have like, yeah, we have Monastic, Monastic, we have Tribunal. Should be okay. Oh yeah, we have tons of healing. Fuck. <laughs> oh, we overdrew, what am I doing? Alright, the good thing is we have the Tribunal, right? So that's no problem. Let's heal first. We have the Tribunal, so... That's happening. We do this, because then we're not susceptible to zombie party. If I did the other way, he could zombie party my 5-3. That'd be bad. That would be bad. Getting the, getting the Alana in hand is also really good. Milling and Grimney are not so good, but... Uh... Uh, what can you do? We are in a pretty good position regardless, so that's fine. That's fine. Time to go off on this. Get that heal up. Need to heal as much as we can. Could have played Monastic Rabbit Healer there, but I think it's not necessary. This the actor. Can't even trade everything. I mean, you can, but you. you know what I mean. He can't. He can't go to my face. I guess if he wants to trade everything. Is what I meant to say. He's just gonna go to my face anyway. All right, <laughs> understood. He just banish this. No problem. Start healing face, man. Look at you. You're hurt. Look at you. You're hurt. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, boy. Look at me, bored. This is nice. It's nostalgic, man. Alana, Alana is so nostalgic. This brings me back to DE. It really does. There's a zombie party. That's fine, because I have Dark John. Ah, oh, this is so nostalgic. Oh, bye bye Oh, this feels so amazing. Oh my god. False idols, man. Got him. Perfect lethal. That was beautiful! Oh, you can't deny that. That's beautiful. That's poetry right there. Yeah. Yeah, I'll keep it. I'll keep this. This is okay. Turn one sacred play. You just gotta have it, man. Lack in scripture can pretty much help a lot, too. Actually. I don't think I want to spend the monastic just on draw. I need it to, to get out of lethals and stuff. Back in scripture is gonna be great here. We have the tribunal for a uh, Belphegor, potentially. Am I okay spending a tribunal on this? Yes, I am. It'll pop on his turn six, right? Fine by me. I have the execution. The contract's broken. He's at eight, though. I mean, he's at he's at ten, is what I mean. So he has vengeance, so he can air jammer. I want it. It's Belfagor. like gold to me. I guess I have to start reacting, huh? Wanna draw. Drawing more removal, but not my Themis. Could be problematic later. I could also play Healing Angel Beast Call there, but I kinda wanted to draw. Can I go face with this? 
and forward. Okay. I, mean, I have a lot of healing. And a Themis. I think I'll be okay. To survive his onslaught of stuff. Which I think I can do. Lots of removal as well. Really? Alright, I was not expecting that one. Not gonna lie. Kinda sucks. I, I can't remove that unless I evolve. But I have to deal with it, don't I? I'm not going to use my Themis, though. It's suicide. Let's do it this way. Let me use your keep, a, keep a guy on board. This lives now. You shall pay for defiling the sky. Love remedies all by the light. You know what? I can heal this guy, right? For two. Makes him not susceptible to, uh... Blood Wolf. Is that worth it? Is that worth it? Cause you could still just have Hungering Horde, right? Or D-Drain. I guess it's not worth it. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Let's just do it. If it makes it so that he doesn't die to uh, Vampiric Kiss or, or Blood Wolf, then for sure. That's from Serpent. Well, we have the Themis for this. It's all good. This is what we saved the Themis for. He could just have another one, though. That would be a problem. Because Grimnir can't kill that. Unfortunately. Can't attack anything with that. It's a little weird. GG. My that was a weird game. Oh. You are my I mean, I had a lot of the answers. I lost. Oh yeah, the Serpent Charm just killed her by himself. Okay. That was weird. What? What the heck was that? Huh. That turned out okay for me, though. So I'll take it. And that's Mill's Aegis Elana deck. I would definitely take out the executions, I think. Probably for Acolyte Slide. Pretty fun to play. It's really nostalgic seeing Elana back on board. It's been so long. That's it for this video. Like it if you did, don't if you didn't. Subscribe for more Shadow Risk content in the very near future. And of course, thank you to my wonderful patrons. You have my eternal gratitude. If you want to support the channel as well, you can head on over to patreon.com slash And if not, that's fine too. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.